Okay, so I'm going to really quickly import um, an SAT file and categorize it as a generic model and, and link it. We're going to actually link it instead of insert it. So I'm going to use a template. I'm going to go to Model New. You may have Project New um, over here, but just go to New. Browse for the template that I gave you. I'm going to use a specific template that I've made. You can use pretty much any template. So the A1 Revit template, I'm going to open that, create a new project from that, click OK. It's going to open up the new project. I'm going to go to my site plan, and I'm going to go to Architecture, Component, Model in Place, and I'm going to pick Generic Model, and I'm going to click OK. I'll name it GM1, and... I'm going to go to my insert and link CAD. I'm going to link the P1 SAT that I created and click open. Um, let me actually control Z that. Let's go back, link CAD, pick the P1. Um, I have the set origin to origin, so it's matching the 00, zero to the 00, zero of the originating program. So you need to make sure where your origin point is. You can try auto center to center if your model is not near your origins. Okay, so I'm going to leave origin to origin, click OK, and it's going to plop that model down in the center. I'm going to hit finish. I'm going to go to my 3D view, back out a little bit so you can see the model. All right, so what I'm going to do now is go to my manage tab and my object styles and take a look at how it imported it. It imported it as a zero layer category, and it has a solid and it has no real material on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit cancel here. I'm going to go to my insert manage links, and I'm going to go to my CAD formats, and it's going to show me that link, right, that it's loaded and where it's coming from. I'm going to select that, and I'm going to hit reload. And if I click OK and I go back to my Manage Object Styles Imported Objects, it gives me a whole other category where I can change the render material. It's going to affect the exterior of this. For some reason, it doesn't affect the suction cut, which I find odd. But um, if I come into this render material, right, I can rename it. And I can go to the appearance, which is the render, and change the color. So I'll change that to green. And then, oh, strange. Oh, it's up, taking a little while to update. And then I'm going to go to my graphics tab and use render appearance for the shading. Here's the cut pattern, and I have not been able to get the cut pattern to work since they duplicated these two. So I'm not sure if that's what happened. But I'll go ahead and set it to um, black solid fill just to, on the off chance that it might work. Um, and click OK. And then apply. And you'll see that that updates. OK, so I've set up a few views that we can look at. So if we come in, and now you can save it. It's linked in. So if I come down to my composition sheet, you've got this guy in 3D, and then you've got floor plans of it running along, right? So you can see these floor plans and the cuts through, and it's looking, when it's looking flat at the green, it turns yellow, so that makes it look a little yellowish, right? And then the section cuts are in gray, right? So you can see the section cuts in gray. If I go to thick line, so if I TL, you can see the section cuts a little better, right? And it's looking down into that object cutting through it. So the way that this <clears throat> works is if I wanted to update this guy, I could come to insert, manage links, go to my CAD formats, highlight that, and then I could go to reload from and I could pick another iteration, open that, and click OK, and it would automatically open that and update these sections. So that's what we're going after. We'll do some more tweaking on the, um, on the section cuts and things like that a little later.
but that's kind of the gist of it.